Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today, Coach has released some of their holiday collections. Today, we will be looking at the Rexy collection and some of the brand new Studio Baguette bags. Mm. But before we hop into today's Coach Retail Shopping Vlog, if you guys love handbags, hauls, Coach Retail, Luxury, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoyed today's video. And it helps with that pesky <coughs> YouTube. L go rhythm exactly and and I told her I say ma'am let's dive right into these brand new holiday collections from coach because girl they have released an absolute onslaught of new handbags and first up we're going to be looking at the new heart crossbody bag in signature canvas as you can see, it's got a nice red leather gloved hand trim, has the nice signature coated canvas. Looks like it's a fairly roomy bag. I do believe this could fit like an actual full size cell phone, but um, they aren't too expensive either, which is nice to see. I thought they would be more, but it's only $360. And next up goes to the Charter Crossbody 24 in signature canvas with Rexy print. Now, I, as much as I love Rexy and Rexy print, I don't really like it when they do this type of signature canvas with print over top because it does look like they're almost, like it literally looks like they are printed over top. And that's something I don't really like when they do. But it's still really cute nonetheless. And the bag itself is very well built. The zippers slid very nicely when I was opening and closing it. Even though it looks like I'm fumbling with the bag. That's just because I'm doing one-handed. <laughs> one-handed handiwork, if you will. Slide open the other side. And this one has like a netted fish like pouch with the patchwork on it and then on the inside has the price tag which is $550 so it not as expensive as we're probably expecting it to be I say that but at the same time when I like really think about it I'm like that's still pretty expensive but it's a, a fairly decently sized bag if you will like I, I won't sit there and say it's not worth the price but it's definitely a bigger bag and something that you would get more use out of than uh, a Studio 12, if you will. And then here, I believe this is the Willow tote bag. Looking very nice in the Rexy print. Got some nice, uh, I think that's like a red trim as well. Just open it up for you. And it, as much as, again, I like this bag, you can tell when a bag is made to be at a cheaper price point. So if you see here, as I'm fumbling with the price tag, it's $430. But if you're like, you're probably thinking, well, like, why is that one so much cheaper than some of the other bags? It, the leather on it and the canvas used are not that thick. They're fairly thick. Thin. So I feel like that's where they get away with, um, or try to get away with lowering the price and making it seem like, oh, it's, you know, it's still like a good coach bag. I mean, I'm not knocking it, but I just don't like how thin the willow is. It could be thicker. More like the Field Tote 24, or the Field Tote 22, sorry. I love the red. The red looks very vibrant, and the pebbled leather felt nice and soft. Had the nice little microfiber suede lining and 
The Rexy Modif was a nice leather embossing. It just looked really good. 550, not bad. That's really not that bad. Like, I know sometimes as of late, they've been like overpricing things a lot, but I feel like that's an okay price. Maybe they're brainwashing me, y'all. <laughs> but I love the Rexy print, or like the Rexy Modif, sorry. Definitely way better than the signature canvas print with Rexy on it. I just, it just has a whole nother vibe to it. And with the bright red, it's very Christmas, very holiday. And then here is like the Rexy little, uh, I'll, I'll call this like the luggage tag bag charm. These are, I believe, $180 a piece. So like, those are like, that is literally Longchamp pricing. They are charging Longchamp prices now. So like, that's really shocking. But they are very cute. If I had to pick my favorite, it might be the one on the sled. The Rexy sledding down. Like, I think that one's the cutest. And then they just had a whole bunch of Rexy printed, like, small leather goods, including some billfold zip around wallets. Again, with the Rexy print, cute, but I don't like how it looks like it's almost pasted over top or literally printed over top. I feel like they could have done, like, um, like jacquarding and then having a textile like woven into it. I feel like that would have been so much better, but anyways, L again, love the red, beautiful wallet. Unzip it for you and get the price. The inside had a nice leather and uh, just like a nice uh, leather slash fabric lining, $210. Pretty expensive, but it, you know, that's coach nowadays, I guess got the Rexy card case. Now, this one is $120, but what I don't like about these card cases is that they're not full leather interior. So when we, if you watch my channel with me, we went to the Coach Outlet not long ago and they had, uh, I think with their recent Peanuts collection, they actually had full leather interior with like, patchwork embossing on the inside so when i see those like rexy card cases and they're charging probably double the price and literally half the craftsmanship goes into it it's kind of sad i would have liked to have seen the actual like coach story patch on the inside like we do with some of the coach outlet stuff i don't know what makes them pick and choose what to do but in my opinion it would be a lot cooler if they included that. And then after the backpack, I didn't get a good look at the back backpack. Sometimes they're really hard to fumble with in person when you're filming. But next up is the Field Tote 40. Has a nice like golden yellow type of like double lining strap. Looks very pretty. Now, uh, what I like about this is the actual price. $670 is not bad. Like it doesn't feel that bad in my opinion and the bag was really big I mean like really really big and it it felt nice too it didn't feel too cheap or anything again it's just that print it's just the print over top but if it was like a full leather tote like if it, they had like the pebbled leather in full like tote 40 I that would be like my go-to for it and then here we turn to the Studio Baguettes, which are brand new. And I'm going to say, I thought these were going to be bigger. I thought these would be a little larger. Not by much, but like maybe like an inch or something. But like they're just not that big. Genuine gloved hand leather. Uh, I love the crystal embellishments. Like the crystal studding. I think it is so luxe looking but punk and it's just very beautiful $550 so it's actually not that bad I, I will say the baguettes are the studio baguettes seem to be priced at a okay-ish price point still a bit expensive but I do believe that's mainly because of how thick the leather they used for these bags is and the fact that they're studded because if you remember earlier when they released the rivets, I felt like the leather on those was a little thinner. Just a little. 
But I love this bag. The Studio Baguette is just stunning. And as, as you can see here, it is like clutch size. It is not a big bag. It is not big. And as a quick comparison, that's my Nolita 19 in Shearling from Coach Outlet. So like literally, they are close in size, but you're literally paying triple the price. But what's nice is the Studio Baguette is $430 in the patent leather. And we know how much I love patent leather. Patent leather, spazzolato leather, it is just some of my favorite leather to have. Um, would we say I'm going overboard with it? Absolutely. Do I care? No. I absolutely love these. I don't like this color, though. I don't like the color. To defend the color, because as we'll see, there's a wine color, but online it doesn't look as dark and as uh, rich as it does in person. So quickly, we're looking at the Studio 12 in Patton, and it's $240. Don't know why it's the same price as the regular Studio 12s when you take into effect whatever, whatever. But uh, look at the red. Look at the red. That is like a beautiful blood red. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And the fact that it's only $430, like, I am like pulling my teeth out, trying not to pull the trigger on this. Like, I want this bag so bad. I didn't want it that bad in, when I first seen it in, online. But looking at how beautiful the color is in person, I'm sold. Like, I am sold. A blood red. Yes, please. They call it wine. But when I was like, when I'm like looking at my wine tabby, I'm like, no, that is definitely not the same color, even in the slightest. But it, it oh my God. Y'all, I'm, I'm telling you, the fall season for me, like fall holiday season for me for handbags is the worst because they're just pumping out everything I want. Look at that. That is just so stunning in my opinion. And I could honestly just gush about it. I could gush about it for hours. I was like literally carrying around this bag like I owned it in the store. Like I was just like clutching to it with my soul. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? I could possibly, possibly buy this now. But I, I held off. I held off because if you know, I really want to save up for the Eleanor satchel. And that is like very expensive. So I got to be good. I got to be good. Especially when it comes to this bag too. But with the saving grace about these bags for me with the gloved hand leather is that I don't like the leather feel that much. Now, again, it does feel a bit thicker and everything, but it's not as soft as I want it to be. It's not as supple to the touch as most of their gloved hand leather actually is. So when I felt those, I was like, okay, that's not a bag that I need anymore. And now I can just focus on the pattern. <laughs> Like, the patent shoulder bag here. The band, uh, not bandit, sorry. The studio patent shoulder bag. Are you kidding? This thing is stunning. Now, I was actually shocked to see this in store because online, it does say it's still coming soon. So that was really cool to see this. It was only 500. No, sorry. Not 500. I'm, like, lying. No, I'm not. $550. I was right. Oh, my gosh. Never doubt myself. <laughs> $550 for this. That is probably the best bang for buck Coach has released in quite some time. Hands down, I'm not even like shitting you. Like, good price there. I would I would consider that if I didn't just buy like five different patent leather and spazzolato bags. <laughs> but again, with the crossbody heart bag, $360. So it's the same price in full gloved hand leather. Again, I think this gloved hand leather is even better than the studio baguette that we just seen. But that's just my opinion. And it's a good size as well. Next up goes to a brand new handbag style to the coach roster. That is the Brooke Carryall. Again, they're featuring the whole uh, key and lock uh, assortment on these bags. So keeping up with those new row top handles and... Just all of those new bags that they're releasing. 
they I, I feel like a lot of these bags either have that little leather key loop or have like the key loop and that uh metal lock on the side but as you can see this does work as a really nice carry-all bag six hundred and ten dollars is that six hundred and ten i don't know maybe the price the price tag seems a little wrong there but uh besides the zipper pull being a little difficult for me the bag felt like it was pretty good felt like a nice decent quality bag and price for me is fairly high considering we just had the take carry all which was significantly cheaper but this is still a really beautiful gorgeous bag and i love the freaking black hardware i love the black hardware lock that just looks so good and then they also had it in the red so nice mix of colors neutrals and holiday fun cheer or holiday fun goodness oh my god i'm so cringy now okay I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to rant a little because these metal chains, as beautiful as they are, they are $150 Canadian. That to me is outrageous. That is insane. Look how small that is. That is literally the same size as if you have the short straps, like the short leather chain strap or the short uh, resin strap. It's the same size. But, like, I feel like $150 for these is really high. Now, as nice as the C, the C lock one is, like, this one is really pretty. C link, sorry. It, I don't have the money for that. Like, I want to get it, but I, $150, way too much in my opinion. Beautiful piece, though. And then to close off this shop with me, we got some teddy bears in Sheerling. I'm not sure if I showed these off before yet or not, but they're like bag charms, collectible bag charms, probably better to use them uh, like, uh, like scarcely, like, uh, use them once in a while, but they're very cute. And 99, don't believe in you, but all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred, hundred, hundred people, a 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 hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little shop with me for Coach Retail's new holiday collections. My God, they had a lot. They actually had too much. And, and like, by the looks of it, on the website, they had even more. Like, girl, when Coach likes to release, like, this much stuff all at once, I find it really overwhelming. And it takes away some of the spotlight towards some of the really beautiful pieces that they're releasing. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button, share with your friends and family, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's shop with me or outfit of the day. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>